Hello, and thanks for tuning in to our tutorial on the new ray tracing effect in Lumion. We all know that lighting is central to rendering. Ray tracing has just been added in Lumion 2023, and it's the highest end technology available to create realistic lighting, reflections, and shadows. Complicated as it may sound, there's no better tool than Lumion to make this text simple. Let me show you what I mean. You probably know that rasterization and ray tracing are two different rendering techniques. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can have incredible images in only a few minutes using the brand new ray tracing effect. But don't forget, you need an RT-capable graphics card for this feature. More information on this can be found in the article linked in the description. Check it out. We'll jump into an example scene. Let's choose the new interior case study project and open up photo mode. You'll notice that the first two camera positions are from the same angle one in rasterization and one in RT, and that the added effects are very different. For this tutorial, I'll empty the effect stack and let's build it up from square one, starting with the ray tracing effect. The simple method to get you started, just load the RT style, that's it. For the manual method, we can do things one by one. The sliders allow you to control the quality and accuracy of the final output. Since my RTX 2080 Ti is still a very powerful graphics card, let's crank everything up to the max. The samples will control the amount of light rays. The bounces determine how much global illumination or light bouncing from surface to surface there is. And lastly, the denoiser toggle will remove any artifacts from the image and make it look nice and clear. Another toggle appears when you enable the denoiser. Firefly reduction is the slider you use when extremely bright pixels appear on your screen. Since we don't have any and everything looks sharp, let's keep it to zero. Remember that the higher the value of the sliders, the longer the processing time will be because each will require many, many more calculations. Lumion goes above and beyond to keep things simple. With that in mind though, there's something important I need to mention. Hyperlight, skylight, shadows and reflections will not work with ray tracing. And this is by design. Those effects are superseded by the RT technology and are disabled by default when the ray tracing effect is added. Let's see our work in the preview. It's great, but not spectacular. I'll throw in some other effects too that will make the environment more realistic. We'll use this similar setting for light position. So let's get the sun close to what we had before. Then, Adjust the coloring of the image with the newly improved color correction effect. Just a couple of tweaks. We'll also use the two buttons next to the histogram to see if there are any overpowering shadows in blue or highlights in red. And of course, depth of field and two point perspective to sprinkle some of that architectural flavor. No tutorial will be complete without some eye candy. So let's render this image side by side with its rasterization counterpart and see what it looks like. When we compare the two images, it's clear that they both look great, but the light is calculated differently in ray tracing, adding more realism in how the materials and environment interact. You see what I mean? Wasn't that easy? Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch up with you next time.